All right, guys, just a uh, just a bit of a quick one. This a bit of a mobile phone video. I've just got some injectors here from a Kawasaki ZX 12R that customer sent me. He's got some. Uh, in fact, let's just shut that up. He's got some running problems with this bike on cylinder number one, and he suspected an injector problem, which he doesn't have. But I thought, while I've got me as new machine out, I thought I'd just give you a little bit of a. A little bit of a talk on injectors um, so injector sizes you see all sorts of numbers banded around um, the two numbers that are most commonly used to dis to describe the amount of fuel an injector can give is cc's per minute or pounds per hour so the point of this video is just to explain how those numbers are arrived at and having a machine like this you can measure them and it will make sense so the cc's per hour blah, what the cc's per minute let's move that down onto there the cc do you like my sticker i like that sticker the uh the cc's per minute is calculated at Obviously the injectors are opening and closing in the engine at different duty cycles depending on the RPM. So the needs, there's an agreed upon benchmark for testing injectors or generally speaking there's an agreed upon benchmark and that is 3 bar of pressure. So that's what's that 43 and a 42 and a half psi and that's what most fuel injected standard fuel injected bikes will run at they'll run at three bar which is if you look at the spec in the manual they're almost always three bar or 42 and a half psi so the agreed upon standard for testing the flow of injectors so everybody is on the same page is three bar at 100 percent duty cycle so the way you do it um i've got to try and film this and get to the right menu so we go where are we uh, we're on flow and we need to go to here so 100% duty and then what we do is we've got the pressure set to 3 bar already so we'll run the machine and it runs for it runs for 15 seconds and obviously we times that by 4 to get the cc's per minute so where are we we're 90 um so 9918 we've got 360 cc injectors um this is a good way doing this flow test like this is, is a good way to if you've got a slightly blocked injector or a suspect injector it doesn't take much of a blockage for these to be you know for these levels to be different so it's a real good diagnostic tool and then if you wanted to go so these are 360 cc injectors so 360 cc's per minute and then the other calculation that people use is pounds per hour and then in this machine here we have a calculator here look i've already got it on 90 so you would put your cc in like that and it was a 15 second test so these injectors are 37.2 pounds per hour injectors does that make sense i thought i'd just share that with you slightly interesting maybe all right and it was yeah that's the reason it's not on three bar there in case you're wondering is it's because the machine is not running all right anyway um more videos coming soon guys i've got quite a lot of stuff filmed that's not edited um i just thought i'd add this little mobile phone video put that out there thanks for watching guys see you soon